Hi, uh, my name is Leslie Davidson, and this is the artist as entrepreneur.com. Now, uh, I'm doing more acrylic transfers, and I'm going to do one in matte medium right now. Uh, matte medium will dry clear, but it will be very, it will be kind of frosted in areas where the mediums, um, the medium is thick. Okay, so this is a photocopy that was done from an inkjet printout. Inkjet doesn't work because it's water-based and so it'll smear. Um, this, so matte medium is just going to be applied like this. I've had no luck doing a direct transfer, meaning I put this onto um, my canvases and then put the image down and then peel it up after a few minutes. Apparently this is like the fountain of youth and it exists somewhere, but I've never been able to do it. I've tried everything and it didn't work. So I'm sticking to my tried and true um, formulations. Um, now other people uh, do this in the opposite way and they put the medium down onto glass. Um, both ways are perfectly fine. I like to do a bunch of them at once and I don't have enough plexiglass or glass pieces. So I do it kind of the whatever you've got around the house way. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. Uh, it'll be drying overnight, and so I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll show you guys what to do then. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the matte gel, which I've left till the very end because I'm scared. Um, I did a test earlier. Whoops on the back side. I did a test earlier and it really gave me a lot of problems. Um, it was very difficult to come off. Oh, this one's coming off really easy. <laughs> oh, make a liar out of me. Okay, yeah, this is coming off super easy. Um, goes to show, maybe you shouldn't be afraid of what? I don't know. Stuff that you I think is going to be a problem, and then isn't. Okay. But it's totally not see-through at all. Like, I mean, it's, a, it's an opaque image. Basically, matte gels give you an opaque transfer. Okay, it's an opaque image. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice image. Um, it's actually... Uh, pretty good quality. I'm scrubbing it and there's no loss of, of line quality here, but it's completely opaque. Okay, so that, that works out pretty good too, providing that you want an opaque transfer. I'm going to let this dry though and see what we've got because it could um, have some translucency come through after it's dry and then I'll also know uh, where I need to scrub more because I hardly scrubbed anything and that came off really easy. What do you know? Hey, so this is the matte gel acrylic transfer. Um, this was the least fun of all of them and also ended up giving me the weirdest results. See, I have no idea even what that is on there. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. See, it's kind of frosted. Um, it was really, really difficult to get the paper off. This is the back side, which has a layer of paper basically all over it. Um, I'm going to adhere it this side up with whatever this mess is on here because I'm concerned I've painted the backs of these already and this paper um, makes the surface really really inconsistent to paint on and the paint doesn't adhere the same right across depending on how much paper is on there so I think I'll be safer to paint it with the matte side up though that's definitely the more clear image isn't it
eh. Oh well, it's all an experiment, right? So, <laughs> so cute. Okay, so I've got some matte gel. Okay, sorry, I just tested on the side to see if I had any paint on here left. So I'm just going to coat the back of this with matte gel. I don't care if this gets everywhere. Uh, I'm going to put it over top too and probably create a little bit of texture anyway, so I'm not being too careful. pretty good. So I'm just going to take some matte gel and put it right over the top, pressing this down with my brush. And I want to make sure that I seal all the edges so that it doesn't pull up. So it's coated underneath and it's coated over top, so fully sealed. Okay, so this is matte gel, perfect for decoupage or anything like that. There's not too much texture on here, but because there's texture strokes over top of the frog and kind of next to it, I'm just going to carry out through uh, right across the board and just carry some matte medium around and and put some textural strokes just because when I go to paint over this it's gonna look a little weird to have just here be textured and have stroke marks it's not really um, a lot of pronounced texture but it's enough texture to for me to notice the difference when I'm painting between here and the rest of the board so, there was just a little bit of texture. And voila, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks for watching.